Hello, my name is Natalie Eve Marquis. I'm an energy healer and hypnotherapist in Sedona, Arizona. Today we're talking about sacred messengers, the universe speaks and how to listen. In previous couple of videos, I talked about what a sacred messenger is and three different ways that you can tell it's a sacred message that's appearing before you. The topic of sacred messengers is one of my favorite subjects because to me it's, it's, a, it's learning how the universe is answering our prayers and providing the guidance and support that we've prayed for. Um, however, oftentimes we're, we're so busy rushing around doing the things that we do or expecting things to show up in one particular way that we're not um, aware of all the various ways that life is supporting, guiding, directing, and uh, just loving us through things. So sacred messengers uh, learn Learning how to spot those signs and symbols of the universe um, will actually help you, um, I think, feel more loved and supported throughout your life. So there are literally millions of ways that the universe can communicate with us and answer our prayers and provide guidance for us, but I've put them under 13 different basic categories and I call these 13 different sacred messengers. So the very first sacred messenger is intuition. Intuition is something we're all born with, and some of us use it to greater degrees than others, um, but it's a God-given gift. Uh, oftentimes it's there to protect us, but it's definitely always available to offer guidance, direction, support, and especially inspiration for creative people out there. So in, intuition is sacred messenger number one. Sacred messenger number two is animals and insects. This is one of the very popular ways of sacred messengers. It could be an example of this could be say a red cardinal. Um, a red cardinal suddenly starts showing up on your deck railing and then you go to lunch and you notice a beautiful painting of a red cardinal on the wall and then you get home from work and in your mailbox is a card from a friend and on the cover is a red cardinal. So chances are that reoccurring appearance of a, a red cardinal suddenly showing up in your life could be a sacred messenger. So sometimes when we say animals and insects being sacred messenger number two, it doesn't always mean that the physical animal is showing up in your life. The animal could show up physically, it could show up in a painting, a book, a card, a whole variety of ways. So sacred messenger number three are numbers and symbols. This is a biggie for me. For whatever reason, the universe loves to communicate through numbers and symbols. Um, over the past few years, 111, 1111 uh, repeatedly kept showing up and um, I, re I came to realize that this was a spiritual portal being opened. I was opening up into more of my um, spiritual gifts. I was going deeper into my spirituality. Uh, for, so for other people could have other meanings, but uh, in general, 1111 is a portal, a spiritual portal being open. So you could be going through a spiritual transformation. You could be deepening your exploration of your personal spirituality uh, or things like this. So numbers and symbols are a good example. Another example, a quick example of a number is recently, uh, more recently for me over the last couple months, the number 555 started showing up uh, last month and uh, very much repeatedly it would show up on the clock, it would show up in my phone, phone numbers coming through, paperwork on my desk, 555, it just kept showing up. So to me, I knew that 555 means big changes rumbling through. And sometimes I get excited when I see big changes rumbling through because sometimes that can mean good change, fun change, adventure. Um, but in this case, the change was a little challenging. I hurt my knee three times. <laughs> so, And uh, that really changed how I lived my life for the next two months while my knee heals. So uh, I typically walk four miles a day and I go dancing a couple times a week and I love to ride my motorcycle. But all of that um, is on hold for a couple weeks while I give my knee time to heal. But 555 was foretelling the big change was coming through. So that big change in my lifestyle was uh, definitely uh, happened. And the second big change was that I received notice that my insurance would be ending. And I previously um, received my insurance through my ex-husband. So that was a big financial change for me and also having to research insurance companies, which I did and now I have my own insurance. Um, but that was a big change. So 555 again was foretelling big changes rumbling through. So you say Sacred messenger, numbers and symbols, repeating numbers and symbols. So a sacred messenger, another one is people in conversations. One funny story, so a sacred messenger can be actually foretelling something. And uh, once I was driving uh, down the highway and I saw a, a license plate and it said something about love. And then I get to a restaurant and um, in this restaurant uh, in Jerome up on top of the hill, I think it was called Grapes 
beautiful restaurant, great food. Um, and while I was waiting for my friends to get there, um, there were three women in the table next to me. And all of a sudden, they start, they burst out singing, go into the chapel. And we're gonna get married. Forgive my voice, not a singer. But anyway, I, that's never happened before. It was so funny. And uh, so it really stuck with me. Well, two days later, my Aunt Kimmy calls me and she says, Oh, I have news for you. And immediately I knew she was getting married to the guy that she had been dating. <laughs> so um, I didn't I didn't ruin her announcement, but inside I knew ah, she's getting married. So before she even told me, there's a little foretelling there for people in conversation, sector like messenger. Another one is aspects of nature. Nature. So you may see rainbows in the sky or you could see formations and clouds. Aspects of nature can be a sacred messenger trying to communicate, the universe trying to communicate with you. Um, popular oracles. Uh, I call them popular oracles because this is typically the way people think of a sacred messenger of the universe or their angels communicating with them. When you see feathers, People often think their angels are communicating with them. Pennies from heaven, popular oracles, pennies, feathers, etc. Another one are personal oracles. So a personal oracle is a sacred messenger. And what is a personal oracle? So an example would be, again, this is another number, um, but my aunt and uncle um, have a thing about the number 32. It has special significance and meaning to them. And my uncle passed away a year or so ago. And uh, recently my aunt started seeing the number 32. Um, and as soon as she asked me, what is the significance of 32? Well, Obviously, I mean, I knew because he was here. <laughs> Just saying that he was here I, to let her know that he loves her, he supports her, he's so very proud of her and that she was heading, he wanted her to know that she was moving in the right direction and he was really happy for her. Um, and then I also sent her, her the um, angelic meaning of the number 32 as well. But sometimes um, that's just an example of personal oracles. Sacred messenger, synchronicity. So something just synchronistically occurs, that's a sacred messenger. There will be lots of examples of that coming soon. So another way that the universe communicates with us, and well, this is maybe a different category, but it's through warning signs. And, a, and one warning sign is accidents. Uh, and accidents may be suggesting that you might want to slow down, um, that you're moving too fast, uh, that you really need to just... Uh, take some time and rethink what's going on or happening in your life. So when I say accidents, think of maybe you rear-rent you rear-rended someone in your car. Uh, a month later, you rear-rent someone again. Um, and then a, a week later, you're rushing down the hallway at work and you actually run into somebody. Okay, well, that's three times you've run into someone. So chances are that's a sacred message. It's a warning sign. And typically with warning signs, you, you get a couple easy ones and then they start getting bigger and then eventually they whack you over the head. So uh, warning signs are a good thing to learn how to spot, take some time to digest what their possible meaning is for you. So sacred messenger, uh, warning sign, accidents. Another sacred messenger warning sign is getting sick. Sometimes life wants us to slow down. It wants us to take some quiet time, long extended periods of quiet time, to actually maybe integrate something or rest up or rejuvenate because big things are coming through. So sometimes we get sick and that could mean we get a cold, we get the flu, or we get something that causes us to just have to chill out and be home for a little while while we recuperate. So getting sick is another sacred messenger. Uh, another warning sign type of sacred messenger is breaking things. You could break a glass, a dish, a pen, a camera. So when you start breaking many things in a row, it's another sacred messenger uh, asking you to take a look at what its possible meaning is in your life. And lastly, sacred messenger warning sign is your body's aches and pains. And uh, by aches and bodily aches and pains, I mean things that are reoccurring. So um, you're getting headaches uh, frequently, or all of a sudden you're you're experiencing lower back pain that comes and goes and just won't go away. So these reoccurring bodily issues, you know, I really believe everything uh, that appears symptomology in our body um, uh, originates in our mind and our spiritual being first, and so it shows up in our body because we haven't healed it. So taking time to slow down, look at what those uh, reoccurring issues are, learning to decipher them, and, and really work on healing those things will help us in the long run. And it's a sacred messenger trying to communicate with us something that needs to be healed possibly or looked at um, so we can live a happier, more fulfilling life.
So I hope you've enjoyed this video about sacred messengers and the 13 different types of sacred messengers and how the universe communicates with us. If you'd like to go deeper into sacred messengers and how the universe communicates, I hope you'll consider joining us at our sacred messengers retreat coming up in September at Gateway Cottage Wellness Center in Uptown Sedona, Arizona. You can learn more about that at gatewaycottagewellness.com. Thank you for joining me.